Hey YouTube, this is the Robinhood Investor. Hope you had a great week of trading. As always, I really appreciate the support. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn more investing, subscribe to this channel. Today, I'm going to talk about Alphabet, aka the parent company of Google, specifically the healthcare arm and initiatives, because I find it very interesting and impactful that they're using their revenue from online advertising to save lives through different healthcare initiatives. Before I do so, let's look at Google's performance. So Alphabet, uh, which is the parent company of Google, is split into class A, A shares, uh, that's ticker symbol G-O-O-G-L, and class C shares, uh, G-O-O-G. So I have both in my portfolio. So in terms of performance, past week, up 2.45%, past month, up 7.16%, past three months, up 4.17%, past year, down 0.91%, and past five years, up 89.3%. So as I mentioned before, majority of their revenue is from online advertising. And that could range from uh, online ads from search, YouTube, um, and throughout the other products that uh, that they have. So, as I mentioned, healthcare or Google also has a or Alphabet has a healthcare arm called Verily. That's V E R I L Y, and it was formerly called Google Life Sciences, but they renamed it to Verily, and they focus on life sciences. Uh, initiatives. So anything from healthcare or biotechnology. And it was founded uh, December 2015. It's a little over three years ago. And this used to be uh, under Google X which is uh, kind of a, like a semi-secret research and development facility. And they focus on moonshot projects that are more futuristic. It's not just in healthcare, but in different uh, initiatives like self-driving cars or artificial intelligence, healthcare, biotech, computational neuroscience. And here are some of the subsidiaries under Google X. So one article I found that was really interesting that uh, talked about Verily was that they're working on health tracking shoes. So essentially they're working on footwear that would have uh, some embedded sensors to monitor the the wearer's movement and weight as well as measure falls and i think that's pretty cool because uh, it's very similar to the apple watch that measures falls as well as uh, their movement and weight so it's just a different method of wearing it instead of on your wrist it's on your feet and google Google Sisters company uh, was shown a prototype of the design in private meetings, hoping to attract partners to build the shoes and take them to the market, but it's very early in the process. I find it very interesting that they're getting into the wearables industry, and I'm really hoping they partner with a, a large footwear brand like Nike or Adidas to help with the manufacturing and distribution and partnering with a big brand like Nike and, and Adidas uh, with an established customer base would help with the adoption in the market. So health tracking shoes, that's just one of the many projects that Verily is working on. Now I'm gonna talk about the other Verily projects the company works on. So on the Verily website, you can find 
all the projects that they work on. So here's their one of the statements on the website. We're developing tools and platforms to enable more continuous healthcare collection for timely decision making and effective interventions. We are running longitudinal studies to better understand ways to predict and prevent disease onset and progression. And we are undertaking significant joint efforts with partners to radically transform the way healthcare is delivered. So the fact that they're, they're working with some of the, the largest uh, companies in healthcare is uh, it really expedites the process in trying to break through uh, in creating the products. So sensors uh, miniaturize CGM. So they're working with Dexcon to reduce the barriers to use of continuous glucose monitors for people with diabetes. So this is a diabetes sensor. SmartLens program, uh, partnering with Alcon, a subsidiary of Novartis, to build wireless microelectronics capabilities into ocular devices for applications, including accommodative vision correction and improvements with vision in vision quality after cataract surgery. So imagine wearing uh, some sort of maybe contact lens or glass glasses to help with the vision. And that would also provide some sort of applications. Study Watch, which collects physiological and environmental data from clinical studies for insight generation using barely developed hardware and data platform. It's kind of like a smartwatch. Interventions, debug. Stopping the spread of disease carrying mosquitoes by rearing and releasing millions of sterile males. So they're essentially um, getting rid of the, the disease carrying mosquitoes with uh, the good bugs. Galvani Bioelectronics, creating bioelectronic medicines to tackle a wide range of chronic diseases with GlaxoSmithKline. So it's just another partner they're working with for bioelectronics. Liftware, helping people with hand tremor or limited hand and arm mobility to eat with confidence and independence. So imagine if uh, a patient who has a very, like, very, uh, like tremors in the hands. If they use this product, then it'll help them. They can actually eat freely without the, any assistance. Retinal imaging, working with Nikon, including its subsidiary Optos and Google Research to develop machine learning enabled solutions for diabetes related eye disease. So it's very similar to the one at the very top. Verb Surgical, advanced surgical robotics to benefit surgeons, patients, and hospitals in partnership with Ethicon, a division of Johnson & Johnson. It's a pretty big partnership to get into robotics and improving healthcare that way. Health platforms and population health tools. So these are some of the data-driven software solutions to improve uh, like decision-making and intervention. So healthcare performance measurements, partnering with 3M health information systems to develop software tools to better analyze and report quality performance data, data across healthcare delivery systems and patient, patient populations. So this is more of an information system. NHS testbed early intervention program developed risk prediction models to drive innovation in chronic disease management uh, with, with this partner. So this is more um, disease management platform. Onduo, developing comprehensive solutions for simple and intelligent diabetes management with Sanofi. This is a di uh, diabetes management. Precision medicine. Immunoscape working with Gilead to begin developing a comprehensive molecular map of inflammatory disease. 
MS observational study working with Biogen and this women's hospital to research environmental, biological, and other contributing factors to multiple sclerosis to determine early intervention options. One brave idea, pioneering an unprecedented research award with the American Heart Association and his other partner focus on preventing or reversing coronary uh, heart disease and ultimately improving cardiovascular health. Personalized Parkinson's Project, researching the course of Parkinson's disease uh, with these two partners to identify biological and physiological markers and inform better treatments. Precision Medicine uh, Initiative, supporting development of the Data and Research Support Center for the NIH's All of Us Research Program. Last but not least, Project Baseline, embarking on a landmark effort, including a study with Duke University and Stanford Medicine to develop a rich data set and research platform to better characterize transitions in health. So that's all the, the projects mentioned on uh, the Barely website. Going back to the portfolio. I thought for this video, which stocks are you looking at and which earnings reports are you following? Comment down below. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to learn about investing, subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video.